She used to be an actress. Does she ever do anything I would have saw? I think her biggest deal was she started in a pilot. What's a pilot? Well, you know the shows on TV? I don't watch TV. Yes, but you're aware there's an invention called television, that they, and the, on that invention they show shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the way they pick shows on TV is they make one show, and that show's called Pilot, and they show the one show to the people who pick the shows, and on the strength of that one show, they decide if they want to make more shows. Some get accepted and become TV programs, and some don't and become nothing. She started one of the ones that became nothing. in advance for anything that happens tonight. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> it's not me. It's, it's Rita. <laughs> it's Rita. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome to Couch Pilots, all of my friends. It's the show that dares to fly into the unknown territory of awful television. Pilots of the my name is Jason, and with me is the key master. It's Catherine Philip Rastashir. Good evening. I love you. Hey, oh, I, love I love you. you. I love you. I love you. Thank you very much. Uh, I want this episode. I'm, uh, there's going to be a real downer of a thing I'm going to bring up right up at the top of the show that sweet, no one knows about yet. Sweet. But but past that, I want this to be an mm-hmm. all love for you show today. Why for just they, for me? Mm-hmm. Why did they bring us on the show? That's a lot right? of quits. That's, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, that's a last show. Um, that song was. Uh, I was going to say that that was my first question. Was oh my first question was why do you love me? Because of the, the way that you are. And the second question is, what was that song picked for? Well, today's uh, episode of Pilot is called Combination Lock. <laughs> and that was a song called Combination Lock by <laughs> Fugazi. <laughs> it's all instrumental. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, that's why I didn't understand. I like mm-hmm. to have, I like to like take my cues from when the lyrics start, but I don't have that for that song. You anyway. did great. You did great. Uh, thanks for uh, being here. Thanks mm-hmm. for being on the show. Um, we have a couple of guests, and I'm going to introduce them after the downer story. The downer story is going to be real quick. Okay. But um, is this like, do I need to prepare for this? No, you'll be fine. Hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Do I need to prepare? You've you've got a bottle of margarita mix. <clears throat> what he what he doesn't know is you're telling him he's quitting. He, just doesn't know <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows that wouldn't be a downer. I'd be like, yes, we're partying the rest of the night. <laughs> no, um, I, I'll tell you, it'll be a downer, but then you're going to perk right back up because we have a lot of our close friends and family members on the show. And while we're not as close as I'd like to be to the people that we have on today, th- there are no other guests that we have on that put you in a better mood. Yeah, yeah. And that, no. That's not a joke. That <laughs> is, not, that is 100% true story. true. True story. Aww. All right, so... Uh, Let's be real. It's one of them. No, no, no. no. <laughs> on, on, honestly, when he picks guests all the time, he wants to. He doesn't want to do a show with just me and him. He just knows that it doesn't work anymore. No, not that And not so he's always wanted to... Who, he's like, who do you want to have on? Who do you want to have on? And and uh, this this couple, whenever they're on, I don't even usually I go. Eh, it's fine, but this one I go. Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll introduce myself. Real, real quick, today uh, this is being released on uh, December twentieth. So Merry Christmas. Um, but we're, it's actually to make it worse. You're like, a, uh, here's a dinner story. Merry Christmas. Well, it's actually November 29th, and the reason I say that is because there's a show that uh, we had released today, and we had uh, friends of our guest Tim Wasson on that show. You yeah. remember that? Yeah. All right, and so when Tim was on, we were talking about uh, like girls, like the type of girls that we that he finds attractive. Like he was talking about, he's like you know like pale girls with dark hair. Is he saying goth girls? Wednesday Adams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Christina Ricci, no joke, was mentioned. No. And so we're like, um, I was like, well, you know, there's there's a girl. Now you say that, I'm kind of I, I'm I'm thinking about pursuing. Right? Okay. Do you remember me? Probably don't. You don't remember me saying that, do you? I don't remember okay. anything we do here. Well, I was like, there's there's a girl. Maybe you know, I was, I was thinking about, but I know she's a crazy lady. Uh, but I, so I, I, I maybe have a, a couple of good weeks that'd be real fun, and that'd be about it. And um, there, there is an update on that. Would you like to take a guess what that update is, Blake? If I guess it, how much do I get? I, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Thousand pounds? Is she pregnant with your child? No, she is dead. Actually. Oh. <gasps> she- Oh, fuck. OMG. And it's, it's you fucked her to death? You fucked her well, to death? Well, I wasn't going to make it funny. <clears throat> but, I'm but, sorry. Uh, no, but uh, like on my birthday, uh, I was talking to a couple guys about this girl. And then uh, like four or five days later, we recorded that episode with Tim. And then a couple days after that, I found out that she had died on Halloween. So it was like it was like right then. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Isn't that gosh. crazy? So I'm not going to. I'm not. Gonna date her? Well, I guess not. Yeah, Are I guess you, not. Did you go to the funeral? 
No, no, I didn't know her very well at all. I, no, I didn't know her very well. Can we say what she died of? Yeah. Um, I don't know how she died, but it was self done. Oh, oh shit! It was self done, and it oh. really is a bummer because I mean, like, oh. she she was a little nutty for sure. Sure, but um, like she had a little boy, and like I don't oh, I, I don't know man. all the ins and outs. Yeah. Yeah. But but it was a total downer. Is like um, yeah. Hey, anyway. well, hey, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Back, back to square one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So let's. Uh, yep, and says the holidays like suicide. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. Mystery Girl. Let's get the guests in here officially, please. Okay. okay, okay. What am I doing? Why'd you point to guests. me? You're, now, you're announcing the guests. Oh, this is their intro music. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> children of all ages, <laughs> we have two people here tonight who have been podcasting. <laughs> Uh, this is another uh, couple that we have met uh, randomly because of the internet, because we all podcast. We fell in love with them. Uh, let's welcome from the show challenge, Brian and Amanda. Hi, hi. <laughs> Woo. Woo-hoo. Hey, guys. There's nothing better than being announced after you heard somebody die. <laughs> it, can, it, it, it can only go uphill from here. I mean, we did have the Jock Jam soundtrack for was, the intro, so hoping, it did bring, uh, me, bring me up a little bit. I was hoping for some Ass Man intro music. <laughs> I'm an ass I can do that man. next episode. Burr, sure. burr. No, no, that was uh, the Challenge Fresh Meat Season 12's intro. Is what that oh, was. Okay. All right. So, Amanda didn't even I like know. that. He's really did sucked. you know? Stop I didn't it. watch that season. Stop it. You Normally, suck. I wouldn't bring up suicide on the show, but like it was so weird of a coincidence that we were just talking about her, and now yeah. she's uh, on a different plane of existence. Do you think yeah. it has something to do with you? Like crazy. The the op, the the, op, the <laughs> last option was to date you. I, I am <laughs> big of a narcissist to say yes. I think it had to do with me, Your but. dick could have saved her. Oh, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> nice. That was. I like that. <laughs> maybe, maybe in the multiverse. Um, maybe. Or maybe his maybe we don't we don't know all the facts, but maybe his dick caused her to do that. <laughs> no. Good gravy! <laughs> did you just talk to her on the phone, or did you see her face to face? No, I saw her like um, I, I would run into her the day before, and, and we talked. In, oh uh, no! And then I hadn't seen her since I think like the summer or something. Oh, so you had no part of it, basically. Yeah, I had no part. of it. <laughs> <laughs> you are not the reason did or I, the cause. Did I present this as a joke? I don't know. Maybe I, maybe it's my fault. <laughs> and no, anything you tell Blake is a joke. You know that, right? That's how like, I do. That's how I deal with life. Yes, yeah. he does. Listen, yeah, that's how I hide real pain behind mm-hmm. jokes. Exactly. Well, uh, Robin Williams, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We mentioned uh, Tim earlier, and I, we were talking to Tim when he was on the show. He's like, I do uh, The Challenged with the Wolfords, but now I do another show called The Survivored. Yeah. And, and I was like, you do that with uh, the Wolfords. Like, they <laughs> want nothing to do with it. <laughs> and so I want to ask you guys, Tim is trying to parlay. I think is you got you guys have tried that yeah. several times in different configurations. Several. This would be the second time. To, to parlay yeah. the success of the ch- of challenged into a di- another show. Yeah. yeah. Why did you guys not want to do that? Um really it all comes down to timing. Um oh, I, I don't gonna, have I enough. Gonna, I, thought was, I thought she was going to say <laughs> Tim's wife. I don't know. I don't have enough time every week for two podcasts where I have to watch the show live and record right. right after because those are late, late nights. Like we can start this podcast early. Right. Uh, we don't start recording uh, challenged until like nine o'clock most days. Yeah. We've got a few, a uh, few days or weeks uh, heads up on what we're going to watch. Yeah. And we can do it at our right. leisure, but you guys yeah. are on a strict it's like thing on demand to so. get that content out there. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's where it is. Like I, and we tried, Brian and I were going to try big brother, which was evicted. Okay. <laughs> and, Oh, uh, I, get, I get that. <laughs> it, it's way better than survivored. Like Tim is like, he needed to do a little better with that. Uh, yeah. Come on, Tim, you stupid idiot. <laughs> he was, stri- was, he was stressed better. out. He was stressed out. <laughs> the only thing I know about Survivor, and I think I mentioned when Tim was on, was uh, Richard Hatch's nutsack. Oh, yes. That's it. That's, oh, all, yes. that's all I know. Yeah. But, I mean, just like, I mean, I've watched Survivor since the beginning, just like I watched Challenge since the beginning. But it's it just a timing like weird... thing. Yeah, and it's just it's a timing thing. If it, would, if it wasn't, like, the seasons didn't play at the same times, I would totally do is it. it. Same for you, Brian? Is that same uh, for you? I work on Thursday nights, which is the only night he has available to record it. And that's the night that Survivor comes on, or is that uh, not? It, it comes on Wednesdays, but, but we do Wednesday. challenge on Wednesdays. Okay, gotcha. so oh boy, right? Yeah, I just I Too just much. ended a podcast that I was doing, so I'm freed up, so I can get a third podcast going again. There you go. Maybe Survivor for What's you. Your second? Uh, what's that? What's your second? I do one called uh, the Ernest P. Warren oh, Preservation right. Society. Right. It's actually. It does okay, all things considered. Yeah. It really awesome. does. A lot awesome. better than this piece of well, shit, right? <laughs> didn't want to say that. Mm-hmm. 
Um, <laughs> I also saw, um, this is maybe a topic conversation. I saw a, a couple movies recently. I saw Home Sweet Home Alone. Yeah, didn't watch it. No, nah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. you don't have to watch No it. Macaulay Culkin? Fuck you. <laughs> Buzz was in it, though. Buzz Lightyear? Yeah, yeah, Buzz Lightyear. Tim That's Allen nice. reprises yeah. his role as a, as a live action Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. Or Buzz Aldrin. Um, <laughs> and, and then uh, I saw uh, the new Ghostbusters movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Afterlife. we saw that. What'd you yeah. think? Yeah, we loved it. I loved it. Did you love it because of the movie or because of the antics of taking your picture with the Ghostbuster <laughs> people? Which, which made it. What does that mean? Uh, if you were on social media, you would know. But you're not, so I don't so want to talk I, about it. Probably a lot of the listeners aren't connected to what you're right? talking about. Right, exactly. You're just randomly, people who are not friends. I don't care about that. <laughs> oh, we're looking at a picture here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Picture of me with some of our the, local chapter Ghostbusters. Yeah, the Central and, Illinois Ghostbusters. And they're Ecto-1, yeah. I there feel is like, a chapter of, yes, hey, there is. we're... There's lots of. Yes. Really? You know how like uh, Star Wars has the 501st, which is the, like the... Which is the Stormtroopers. The Stormtroopers. Hitting the ground. Yeah. yeah Ghostbusters do, have their own Well, version. and they do charity work charity, at the, yeah. Yeah. At the hospitals. And and, and yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing Ghostbusters has a version. Oh. Every once in a while, I do see an Ecto... People have no uh, lives. What's it called? The Ecto... <laughs> Ecto-1. Plasm. Yeah, Ecto... Thank you. Ectomobile. Yeah, every Ecto-1. time I, I see Ecto-1, and I was like, what is that doing around? It's probably those guys. <laughs> it is. Probably. Yep. Busting Ghosts. Did doing, you, did doing you like charity. It? Busting Ghosts, doing charity. I yeah. loved it. Uh, I've seen lots of people complaining that it's nothing but nostalgia and fan service. Oh, I love it. That's what it's for. And, and That's I what say, it, yeah, exactly. What else do you fucking want out of a Ghostbusters movie 30 years after the last one? Yeah. 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 I saw uh, a couple years ago, I saw a film in the cinema called uh, The Irish Man. It mm-hmm. was on Netflix. And, oh, uh, Jesus. I, I watched that yeah. too. That took a long time to. Well, good old Bobby De Niro. I think he's clocking it about seventy five right now. Yeah. But there's a few parts of the movie where he looked like he's supposed to look like he was thirty. Right. Yeah. I think every every just keep making Ghostbusters. Like do one every three years. You gotta have Bill Murray. Right. I, I, I know you're right. not. I know you're not going to get him yeah. for Ghostbusters right. Afterlife. But like, just like digitally resurrect him right. and take all the the dialogue he's done from other stuff and just mm-hmm. just like. He doesn't have to do anything. To just he, someone's creating him in a lab somewhere. Just make yeah. a virtual Bill Murray. Virtual. That's all we yeah. need. I, I was. Why? I, I think it was on Facebook or someplace on social media. But like they uh, got all the guys together from the reg, the first one, mm-hmm. and they showed a clip uh, when they were doing like the in the, in the original movie when they were do, trying to do a commercial. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It was before it was called Ghostbusters. It was Ghost. Yeah, they weren't sure if they could clear Ghostbusters because yeah, technically like ghost, it was owned by another Ghost Getters TV or something. Show. It was, it was <laughs> just cool getters. to see, like, yeah. the, like the original was like Ghost Stoppers. Ghost Stoppers. That's what ghost it was. Ghost Stoppers. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, well, that's great. We were trying to do a commercial on what? Just they, they try, couldn't clear the rights. I thought well, it was going to no, be like was, a Bill it was Murray when they story. Were filming the movie. Yeah. There was a scene where they were trying to do a commercial. You know the commercial. Where they're like, you have spooks, you have spooks. Blah, blah, blah. yeah, they're like pointing oh, the at the camera commercial that yeah, they yeah, film yeah, yeah, in the movie. So they filmed yeah. different versions because yeah, they weren't sure. So they showed a, they showed a name clearances. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Dan Aykroyd, I think, is a I was huge driving like force of that movie, but mm-hmm. he's kind of like he's kind of a he's a crazy guy by yep. all accounts. Oh yeah, Dan Aykroyd. Oh yeah. yeah. But Bill Big Mur- UFO guy. Bill Murray is like he is the reason for that movie's success, right? Like we we love as a nation Bill Murray, and he didn't even want to do it. And what? He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do the first one? The first one. Oh. He did it He did it in, in uh, as a favor to get another movie. I think it's uh, either Razor's Edge or Where the Buffalo Roam. It's probably uh, Operation it's, Dumbo Drop. No, it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> Operation Dumbo Drop. That was after. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, but he did, he did Ghostbusters just to get the other movie made, which was a much more serious movie. Mm. And mm. obviously. Both of those are pretty serious, right? <laughs> yeah. Razor's Edge and... Uh, Obviously, Ghostbusters did way better than the other ones. Oh, yeah, boy. Because I have no idea what those other ones are, but everybody knows Ghostbusters. I, uh, Hunter S. Thompson is the Buffalo Realm, right? Uh, I think so. I believe so, yes. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I saw them, and I, I, here's the Ghostbusters. It's okay. I was all right. I liked it. I like you that. said with a scowl on your face. I love, <laughs> I love the little girl. Like, love her. Yeah. Like, for real. I, the fan service and nostalgia, like I get mm-hmm. that, but I also feel like everything is trending Stranger Things, right? It's like it's that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's um, it was like that, right? Mm-hmm. They're all yeah. taking advantage of that, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying it might be an, uh, too easy of a play. I, the magic was these grown adults led by Bill Murray being crazy, goofy, and funny, and then mm-hmm. we got these kids that are not funny, but they're likable. That yeah. Finn Wolfhard is a. Mm-hmm. He's a babe. Right? I love him. Yeah. He's pretty. Bad. I don't know why he's not playing Joey Ramone in a Ramones doc. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ramones shit. biopic, right? But. He needs to. Yeah. Somebody do that right now. Uh, Wolford is the. Uh, give us twenty percent. It's not spelled the same as you, is it? 
Finn no. Wolford? Wolf? No. What is how you Finn, s- Finn Wolfhard? Wolfhard, okay. There is it, just Wolford. It's, Wolford. Funny, it's, it's funny you mention that because <laughs> I have a supplier and my contact, his name is Brian Wolford. And every time I text him, I go, is, am, I, am I doing the right one? Am I doing the right one? Wolford? <laughs> Spell the same? Wolford or Wilford? Wolford. Wolford? That's I all. think I sent a, did I send you a screenshot one time? I don't know. No, maybe, maybe not. But anyway, uh, so maybe you did it in your uh, mind. In my, <laughs> in my, Sorry, I guess I guess I don't have anything to uh, uh, put toward this show. Do you, do you have anything you want to ask, though? For, I have one more thing, but if you got something, please. I, I don't have anything I want to ask, but I want to say, first of all, Amanda, I, I've said this every time you come, mm. you fucking look amazing. Oh, you're, do, you're doing thanks, a great Blake. job. And um, how does Brian look? <laughs> About the same. <laughs> Good. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think he looks good. Yes, no. he looks. No. But I, I, I look terrible. I'm like one donut away from a heart attack. He shaved it's today. His 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 facial hair is looking good. Oh, I thought it was oh. <laughs> facial hair. I was like, nah. yeah. No. Uh, no, but I I I, I do want to say you're doing a great job. Aww. You you've been doing this for three years now. Three years, and yeah. you're killing it, uh, Brian. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Yeah. I you're am. Fine. I am now technically only ten pounds overweight. Holy cow. Wow. Like <laughs> from like, you know, like the scale of what, you know, the mm-hmm. what your doctor would Yeah, your you. normal BMI, the BMI scale. Yeah. At this point, I finally I am I just realized it all the other day. It was really weird. Um that yeah, I'm only technically 10 pounds overweight. Well, to be fair, you have yeah. very thick hair. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's got to be way 10 pounds. But I, but, I, but I will say this. I will say this, that your personality has not changed a bit. Aww. And that's where I fell in love with you the first time. <laughs> we used to have the podcast get-togethers. I, it would always end up me and you just hanging out in the corner. Yeah. Because uh, you felt sorry for me. And, I appreciate and, and that. And you cornered her. Yeah. Well, <laughs> literally in yeah. the corner because no. you cornered her. No. Uh, but uh, no, you're, you're doing a great job. Hi, everybody. I, 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 I loved you then. I love yes. you now. Oh, that's, uh, that's, my what, whole, what? that's my whole That's my whole deal, though. Love say that. Fest over here. Right, right. You love her so much, <laughs> won't you marry her? <laughs> because I'm already married. But, He's got a molly. But we were, up, when we were upstairs before we came down here. We decided that oh, me and you are going to live together. We're going to live together. And that's Molly right. and Brian are going to live together because yeah. of the temperature of the house. That's correct. That's right. Yes. I could live in 73, 74 would be like I ideal. Buy shit. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of this love affair, what is uh, we had talked a while ago about the two of you uh, doing oh, yeah. a podcast. Yeah, where is I mean, it? I meant, to, I meant to tell you. I meant to text mm-hmm. you before and say, don't bring it up. Uh-huh. Oh, you didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not because I don't want to. It's because just like you, we're, we're both... We're both busy people. We're we are busy. People. Busy. You got it. Do you not? Think I'm in I'm an busy? active no, season of the challenge. Like you're not busy. Well, but I got a big down. I've got a big down season yeah. coming up here. Challenge is going to be over. And uh, when's that? When, we've when's got that a big over? Respect. December fifteenth. Okay. Probably then, probably uh, after the first so of the year, like January February. We have two weeks before uh, youth bowling league starts, and <laughs> I'm there. Three nights a week. Oh Lord, have mercy! Oh, Lord. Not me bowling. Not me bowling. By no, the way. you just have to be there because of the child who's bowling better than me. <laughs> the child oh, is bowling oh, better uh, than time me. To, time for him to start paying rent. I just, right. want, what I, I I just want to give a shout out real quick. Eli won uh, the youth league. He was number one in the youth league this session. Oh, hey. oh sweet. He's, this isn't because I said so. Stop talking about your kids. And number two, uh, me and Eli got second place. We only we almost tied uh, by one point, but me and uh, Eli got second place in the adult youth league. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, Listen, second place is the first loser. Jason yep. says I'm officially I'm officially not bowling with him anymore. A because. It wears me out, and B because he's getting better than me. <laughs> he's got young bones. And he does and, and young muscles. Well, and that's it. Like I mean, you know that the wear and tear. Like he throws that ball as hard as he can for time, day in day out. He's gonna end up just like you, buddy. Well, the, the thing is broken right, down. The thing broken is down. Right, right now, cornering girls. Right now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> cornering. Cornering. So, like right now. On Sundays, I bowl three games for my league, and then I wait an hour and a half, and I bowl three more with his Goodness. league. And I drink a lot the first three games. Yeah. Yeah. And it was beer. Mm-hmm. I've been drinking hard alcohol, by the way. 
Whoa. Ooh. But, uh, King Greg right fancy. there. Boy. So part of me, part of me is yeah, like. Yeah, that is a dangerous pass there, Part of me is like, boy. if I didn't drink so much on the first three games, yeah. could we have gotten first? Probably. So <laughs> Right. But I'm very proud so, of him. Six years ago, he, he, he bowled a 70 with bumpers. Now he has a. Uh, over a 170 average. So. That's Whoa, awesome. incredible. That's awesome. Good job, baggage boy. Whoops. <laughs> um, the last thing I wanted to ask uh, the guys here is um, you're still doing the Joe Blow uh, articles online, mm-hmm. right? JoeBlow.com. Yeah. And I saw, I went on there, I was looking uh, at your stuff today, and I think the most recent one you did, I think, was for the new Resident Evil movie. Yeah. And uh, I assume you've seen it. Yep. What do you think? It's, it's a prequel, right? Uh, no, it's a complete re. Reboot. Oh it's, oh, it's a reboot. Is yeah. Mila Jovovich is not in no. it, is she? All no. right. Um, she had seemed to age for about fifteen years, right? Yeah, yeah. She got good genes. Um, no, I mean it's they're completely redoing it. It's more along the lines of the storyline with the movies or the, the video, video games? games. Okay. So it ignores all that stuff and just starts. Yeah, pretty wild. Yeah. In the movies. It's much more of a horror movie than the like the hyper action movies that they kind of ended up doing. With how, how would you compare it to some of the other Resident Evil movies? Because they, they made like like five or six of them. Lots of them. Yeah. I only saw the first two. How, how, how was uh, was it called? Something Raccoon City? Yeah. Welcome to Raccoon City. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. And you did an article that can be viewed uh, concerning the Easter eggs that you can find in that mm-hmm. to kind of uh, foreshadow yeah. the rest of what you might see going forward. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff from the video games popped up in the movie. I, I do love some of the. So I've played four. I think Resident Evil Four. I've played more than any other game in my life. Mm-hmm. It's a great game. I've only ever played part two. Uh, yeah, you, so I had, I had no idea. I'm like that might be an Easter egg. I don't know. So I had to go. I had to go online and look at oh, a bunch of shit. But yeah. But you are like like a, a freelance writer in your like spare time, right? Mm-hmm. You're, you've been writing a lot. And how, do you enjoy it? I mean, I enjoy it. I wish I could do more of it. But. Yeah. He, he needs people to give him more work so that he can do it full time. <laughs> well, we asked him about this when he was on, and mm-hmm. I do want to ask Brian about it, and I would like to get what I'm sure Amanda's seen as well, is that's, and you wrote an article about the new Halloween movie. Yes. This is, uh, what's the guy's name? Is it Brian Greenspan? What's his name? What? No, who's the guy who wrote David Green? David Gordon Green? David Gordon and Green. Danny McBride? And Danny McBride, yeah. yeah. So they wrote, uh, it, they did the first one, uh, mm. ho- a, ho- a sequel to Halloween called. Halloween. <laughs> Invented. There's technically now three movies called Halloween. Halloween. And then they, in that series. Well, okay, well, there's a bunch of different timelines, right? Yeah. Uh, for, which one's your favorite timeline? Uh, probably the original timeline. So, so parts one, two, and then four and five. Five is kind of bad and falls si- apart. Six is different timeline? S- six is still in there. It, but it's fucking terrible. Four and five is the, <laughs> the, ja- the uh, Jamie. Jamie Lloyd. Yeah. Daniel Harris. Yes. If, yeah. if, part if, four is really good. I really like part if four. No, if, if somebody had never seen a Halloween movie and they could only watch one, which one would you say? The original what? 1978 Halloween. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So what, what did you think Third. of Halloween Kills? This is the second uh, in the trilogy with uh, Big Bride and Gordon yeah. Green. I was not a big fan. I feel like there's some fun ideas, but they kind of dropped the ball with their execution. So. I got Peacock just to watch it. Somebody oh, got yeah. executed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's pretty it's a pretty brutal. It's movie. very gory. It is very, very gory. Violent. Mm-hmm. Did yes. you guys go see it in the theater together? Or did you no. watch it on Peacock? No, we're mm-hmm. slaves to Comcast. And yeah. when you have Comcast cable, you get Peacock you get for Peacock. free. Okay, so hmm. we just watch it that way. So you didn't like it either, Amanda? No, not really. I, I think you're right. There are some good ideas. I love the fact that they're mm-hmm. trying to bring back as many characters played by the original yeah. people, yeah. minus yes. uh, Anthony Michael Hall. He replaced I liked, the guy. I yeah. liked the flashbacks. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was all on board with these n- new flashbacks, basically. Yeah. Um, I liked them, but the the story overall was just the flashbacks are basically how and then the mob Michael stuff was Myers was originally caught, right? Yeah, and then you're right. The mob stuff sucked. Yeah. I, I hated yeah. how there was a million people in the hospital. Like that wouldn't be regulated yeah. by the police yeah. somehow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then they're like chasing down. Yeah, like, that's fine. And that's then, like, how that happens. And then like Jamie Lee Curtis is like kind of in the movie. Yeah, it's like she's yeah, like, I don't says, like that either. <laughs> she's is, just like you might as well have just like uh, voice her voiced over her or something. I think she's like, she was I'll, like I'll, I'll give you I'll give you three days on set. That's right, it. I'll sit Which in the hospital the, bed uh, for three days. The original problem with the original Halloween too. She just goes to the hospital and then she doesn't oh, yeah, do a whole lot. Yeah. So. They kind of redid that, sadly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the ending, though. And I know Blake's really looking forward oh, to yeah, I'm gonna Halloween watch it. Oh, I'm yeah. Just, I'm yeah. dying to find out <laughs> how a, it ends. He's a bit chomper, right? 
That's all I had for these guys. I chomped some bits. Do you have anything else you want to ask the Wolfords? Uh, no. I don't want to ask anything, but thank you guys for being here. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. We, we love having, always love I love having both of you, you here. Yes. Uh, liar. No, you're drinking a Goose Island. I'm, you, it's good, baby. <laughs> I love that guy. So there's uh, there's one guy above every other guy, um, I guess, in the known world. In the known world, yeah. yeah. As we know, the world as you and I know it. Yeah. That listens to this show and is entrenched in the mythology of the program. Entrenched is, is you can't find a better word. If there was a better word, we would use it because thank you. It's over. He's overly entrenched to the point where um, he should get a life. The fellow goes by the name of Chris Tuckley, right? <laughs> And Chris Tuckley has gifted us uh, three seasons worth, and we're now in the middle of that third season of uh, what we call the Tuckley 10, and this is part three of failed pilots all the way from the UK, because that, that's where Chris is from. Yeah. Now, uh, what's become kind of a tradition, and I love it, and it spe- I think it speaks to British people, too, because uh, I don't know if you ever watch British sitcoms, but they like... they. They're on for eight years, and they make seven episodes. Right. And then one of the episodes is like a three-hour-long Christmas special. Every Always. show. Yes, they, the Christmas special. They love Christmas. I love it. I love, yeah. it. So I love I, it. I think that speaks to what we're like about Christmas? to get into right now. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Chris, every Christmas, sets us up with some great stuff, and he's got a card. Yeah. Send us a card. I think you're going to read that. And then there's something extra special coming right after that. But you want to read the card for us? Right. So every year he sends us a Christmas card. And I just, I'll show all the viewers. Very, very pretty. <laughs> and it's weird. I don't understand the back of it necessarily. But it's the extra care. I, I, I don't. I think it's like I got him for free. I don't understand. But uh, there's something back. But uh, here's here's what the card says. Dear Blake and Jason, wishing you and yours, your wishing you and your family all the very best. Uh, uh, beautiful. What, <laughs> what no, a great sentiment! Oh Thank my you so god! Much. Was, his handwriting is it, it's, it's, it's 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 British. I can't read it. Christmas it's British, 2021 like and the New Year, and the card says Bish wishes on Christmas, lots of love, Chris. X X O O. P.S. I'm working on something for your Christmas episode. If it if it works, I will send it to you via email. Fingers crossed. Well, whatever he did did work, and I we, we 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 keep him. We have them on display. We have the Christmas cards. Christmas yes. cards yeah, on sure display. Do. So nice. we don't just throw them away like no. I do everybody else in my fucking family. But. <laughs> and I will go on to say this. A couple of years ago, we had Brian on by himself on an episode. We were doing a Ugh. season. Lowest of, ratings ever. No, it, <laughs> this is a great episode, actually, because it, it was shows. We did a season of shows that did work. And it, uh, uh, Blake and I both picked five in our 10 episode seasons of television shows that we love that did work. And Brian happened to be on one of those programs. Do you remember the one that you're on? No. It was the Dukes of Hazard. Oh, that's right. And, and during that Yeehaw! episode, cancel. <laughs> during that episode, we unleashed a bit of fan feedback from Chris Tuckley. Um, that was the twelve days of couch pilots that we then got everyone who he mentioned involved and actually got those people in yeah, this room. And there was we like sang it. There was eight, oh! eight or ten, eight or ten people in this room. This, yes, that, yeah. I I, str- I stand by. That's one of the best things we've ever done. Yeah, that's so fun. And he's I, I don't. I, this may be him outdoing himself, but um, he, he didn't send us a poem. He sent us a nice card. He didn't send us anything but a, but a file here. And I'm going to play the file. Mm. So it's about six and a half minutes long, so I apologize for the yeah, length. No. Trojan virus. But it, it's, it's well worth it. And I hope to God it's not the Trojan virus. A Couch Pilot's Carol. A festive tale starring Kevin Clark as the voices of... Ebenezer Clayton and Cockney Molly. It was a cold and snowy Sunday evening in Pekin as a lonely figure trudged home from the moose in his bright orange Holiday World prison jumpsuit. It was Couch Pilot's Eve but old Ebenezer Clayton was in no mood for merriment. No sooner was he through his front door than he stamped off the snow and descended to his studio, thinking to spend some time on his own 
with a helping can of Miller Lite. Just then, he heard the voice of his wife, Cockney Molly, calling down the stairs to him. Ebenezer Clayton? Ebenezer Clayton! It's me, your trouble and strife, Molly! Someone come a-calling your old china plate, Tiny Jason! Shall I send him down the apples and pears to the studio? He says he's come to do a couch pilots. Couch pilots? Out upon couch pilots. What's couch pilots to you but a time for drunkenness, penis jokes, and laughing at old Ebenezer Clayton? A time when you could be doing something more valuable, like bowling or woodwork? A time for finding yourself three hours older but not a minute richer? A time for talking about all the time wasted watching terrible pilots, half of which seem to come from that good-for-nothing limey nincompoop Tuckley. If I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with couch pilots on his iPod should be dressed up in bobby socks and thrown off a balcony. Couch pilots? Humbug. As he sat on in the darkness of the studio, Ebenezer Clayton grew sleepy. At length he slept and to him it seemed he dreamed a long and terrible dream. He saw himself asleep in his studio chair, and a dark and mysterious figure slipping into the room to confront him. Ebenezer woke with a start. In front of him stood a vision, a phantom perhaps, the figure of his old podcasting friend, Obadiah Shemansky. I have returned, Ebenezer, said the phantom. And I bring you a warning. Mend your ways ere the cock crows on Monday morning. You shall be visited three times this night by three pilots. May you learn the true meaning of couch pilots. Or else. Or else. Or else. At this, the phantom vanished. And the first of the pilots, the pilot of couch pilots past, began to play out before him. It was Mebox, and old Ebenezer Clayton winced at its skits and sketches, although by the end of it he had to admit that it was really not so bad and probably deserved a second look. When Mebox had finished, it was the turn of the pilot of Couch Pilots present. Ebenezer Clayton shed a single tear as the two Welsh contestants on Combination Lock sparred to win a relatively small cash prize. He was remembering his old promise to visit the United Kingdom back in the days before Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson had ruined it. But it was the pilot of Couch Pilots yet to come that set old Ebenezer Clayton's eyes aglow, for this was no awful television pilot of the past. This was woodworking for Great Danes with Hank Williams the Third, and the transmission date, the amazing science fiction future year of 2022. Ebenezer Clayton sprang to his feet, clasping his hands in joy. But just at that moment, Obadiah Shemansky appeared once more, shaking his head and grinning wickedly. You threw me out, Ebenezer Clayton, and you turned your back on Couch Pilots and Tiny Jason. No woodworking for Great Danes with Hank Williams the Third for you. And Obadiah Shemansky let out a blood curdling laugh. Oh, spirit, please be merciful, I pray. I shall not quit Couch Pilots, not now and not ever. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach. I will honor couch pilots in my heart and try to keep it all the year. Cockerel crowed, and Ebenezer Clayton opened his eyes. It had all been a dream, hadn't it? None of that mattered now. In his heart, he thanked Obadiah Shemansky, for he had a chance to put things right. His soul sang as he ran up the stairs and greeted his wife with a kiss, stopping twice on his way out to pat his two enormous hounds. Running into the street, 
he spotted a small boy walking by. What's today? What's that boy? Monday? Then it must be Couch Pilot's Day. Here, take my gambling money. Run, boy, run! Run to the gas station. Buy a payday for Terry, a black belt for Eli, and a sword for Hoover. And don't forget a giant fish taco for my best friend, Tiny Jason. Ho, ho, ho! God bless us, everyone! What do you say? You can't... I'm sorry, what was going on? I was watching TikTok videos. <laughs> sorry. Uh, that was probably the most amazing... This is brilliant. A, a fan feedback. Brilliant. Oh, my and goodness. There's deep dives. Uh, Amanda, deep Brian, cuts. I know you don't listen to every episode. No. I wouldn't expect you to, but there was probably 30, like... You know, Easter, Easter eggs. eggs. Easter eggs. You guys should do an Easter egg video about <laughs> yeah. the car yeah. or the, yep. the car. Yeah. Yes, it would be fabulous. Uh, Chris Tuckley, thank you so much. You outdid yourself. Oh. Uh, uh, Kevin Clark, you kept a secret longer than I expected you to do it. Uh, yeah, doing, that was him doing your voice and Molly's <laughs> voice. And yeah. he, he, uh, Chris had asked me when that we were going to record. That wasn't Molly? That wasn't ah! Molly. He, he got it, didn't he? <laughs> he nailed it. But yeah, Chris had contacted me about when this episode was going to come out, what we'd be watching. That's why he was able to uh, yes! reference combination lock that That's we were awesome. speaking of today. So um, we we can't thank him enough. Actually, I feel like Chris should be thanking us. I, 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 don't, I don't know that Chris. I don't know that Chris would be having these kind of wondrous creative adventures mm. that he's had without us. So I think we you're welcome. We're, we're fueling his creativity. Yeah. No, that was it. Was truly awesome. Oh, amazing! And Absolutely amazing. He's really set a precedent every Christmas. So we have hey. to keep doing it. And hey, yes. Chris, you're fucked. Every Christmas, you better you better keep bringing it. See, <laughs> now you got to be careful because we used to have fans that did stuff like this for our old shows. And they realize, oh, I'm really creative and really good at this. So then they do their own podcast and they forget all about Chris. All about you. Forget you. Don't do your own podcast. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I will say, in a scale of one to seven, one being the worst, seven being the best, Molly's score when she heard this was a seven. She laughed out yes. loud three times. So the email says, don't listen to this until you record. Oh, sure. Mm. It's that's not gonna happen. You can't no. do it. Uh, I, I can't wait. Can't like, wait. I, I can't, you just wait. can't wait. I don't want to hear it for the first time and be laughing or whatever. But uh when when Chris mentions uh Shemansky, uh I think my wife peed herself <laughs> because she knows that of uh, the story behind and 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 only like longtime listeners will understand the story of Shemansky, but uh, that's what that's what there was two things. She laughed out loud, and then she's like, when she said, uh, "What's cockneyed Molly?" And I was like, "Well, that's that's a wife that gives blowjobs all the time." And uh, she said, uh, "Fuck Chris <laughs> Tuckley." No, 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 she didn't say. I felt like but, you're about to set up something with Blake Shemansky. Well, I just she laughed because she knows that I don't agree with Blake Shemansky, and I kicked him out of my house one time. <laughs> but but every year, Chris Tuckley. He will deep dive into Easter eggs that no child could find anywhere, and he puts them all together and makes. I, 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 I just spent the day with Blake Shemansky on Saturday. Yeah. Went to St. Louis with him. Great. And um, well, I I talked to get beer I, to get beer. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I talked to him uh, after I heard the thing here. I said you're being referenced years later, and he said, "Well, I've only been on your show once." It's like, and, and we're going to schedule to have you back. So Blake Shemansky's coming back on the show sooner no. than later. <laughs> You're welcome, Blake. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing: is, is is Blake Shemansky has no idea that he bothers me that much. Mm-hmm. So he's yeah. going to come on the show and think that everything's just fine. And it's not going to be it's not going to be funny because it'll be funny to me. Yeah, well, be funny the only person to you. But and I, I have no problem with Blake Shemansky. It he's was a night boy. of a lot of drinking. It was a lot of drinking, and mm-hmm. and 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 so uh, you know. But yeah, so Chris Tuckley. <laughs> First of all, this is the third year for the Tuckley 10. This is, this, I, I thought he could not beat uh, the 12 Days of Christmas uh, Couch Pilots version. He outdid himself. Uh, I, I was drinking with Kevin Clark uh, Saturday night. I said, hey, I listened to it. He was like, I kept it a secret for a long time. Chris Tuckley did all the editing. Mm. And so, you're, Brian, you're probably right. He's going to probably have his own podcast. <laughs> but 
It was amazing. But thank you so much. It, uh, to get to get mail mm-hmm. from Chris Tuckley right. or from uh, DD in Australia or from anybody is pretty fucking awesome. But uh, uh, he he nailed it. So I feel like you're not saying. There's a lot more you want to say. No. <laughs> I'm I I have invested in some Bitcoin. <laughs> I have. Uh, cryptocurrency is about kinda, Chris. About is, Chris. Well, I'm getting there. Okay. I have I, some I, Doji coin. I, I, <laughs> I've, I've invested in some cryptocurrency. I'm trying mm-hmm. to make enough money to next year go to UK. We're going to do a tour. We're going to do ten episode, ten live shows. Never meet your heroes in in UK. <laughs> do, you, do you think? Do you think he doesn't want to meet us? He wants nothing to do with us in person. No, no. honestly, like like if I if I said if I emailed Chris Tucker right now, like, hey, our plane lands this day, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're leaving oh, yeah. this He's day. He's picking you up from the airport. I would, Jason I, says I, no. I, I hate to speculate. No. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's be a fool's errand to do so. But what I wouldn't say is that today was uh, we discussed the pilot episode of Combination Lock from the year of our Lord nineteen hundred and ninety six. Now I tell you what, that was a great year. You guys remember nineteen ninety six? I was 16. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. a good year. Oh, yeah. 16? 16? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Amanda? Uh, she was like I five. No, I would have been in uh, sixth grade. Wow, Brian. Way to go, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> I would have been in sixth grade. Uh, yeah, those were great years. I had the most amazing group of friends. What are you talking about? I had the most amazing group of friends. Like, we were super tight. We would go to the mall. You know, that was when your parents would drop you and off Brian at the mall. Brian was watching you from the yeah. corner. <laughs> and you could get mint chocolate bombs from Gloria Jeans. Uh, Those, yeah. It was like the Frappuccino. Well, what year was that? Uh, 1996. 96, yeah. Yeah, yeah was Blake was 45. Uh, yeah. In 1996, I had already graduated from high school. <laughs> I, Working on I, your doctorate. I do believe that... I do believe that uh, that was... You're working at Zeller's. I was working at Zellers, uh, Austin. I my birthday working. Pre- sure. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday present when I turned twenty one was a uh, uh, pregnancy test that said you're having a baby. Yep. And I was Sounds like, oh, that's right. funny because I don't like you. <laughs> so, what, what beer are you on, right? By chance, Two? guys. Forty five. Nope. Hold on. I'll give you a count. Okay. I had three Jack and Cokes at the Moose today. Yeah. Before this. I had a, a, a sip of margarita, right. mm-hmm. and this is my third beer. So. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> let's um, let's go back to 1996. In, in our, our minds. minds, I suppose. <laughs> and we do that so we can uh, properly get in the mind frame of when Combination Lock was made, because to do it any other way, to judge Combination Lock by any other merits. My God, what a disservice that would be. <laughs> Some True. would say it would be uncivilized. Mm-hmm. True. Remember that Grey Poupon commercial? Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, uh, the next episode after this, uh, I'm not going to be doing good well. So. You're not going to be doing what? Goo well. Goo well. He's not going to be doing good well. You said goo well, right? Yes. Yeah. What? what? You just not be doing well, right? <laughs> yes, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> he makes the G over to the. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got I it. Get yep. It. Mm-hmm. I get it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you are you looking to pick up another show, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about some things that happened in December in uh, 1996, and specifically in the UK, because these are UK pilots we're watching. December 10th, mm-hmm. Harold Crodo wins the Nobel oh, Prize. Fucking Crodo, great guy, right? <laughs> Oh, um, I, I hated that he wanted that ring all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Frodo. It's, oh, Frodo. Yeah. I, I didn't oh. get it. I'm, like, uh, I'm not doing as well as you, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry jointly with Robert Curl and uh, Richard Smalley for their discovery of fullerenes. Mm. How many? How Ch- change the world. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, following, of course, is an aloe trope of carbon who's molecular. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, if you guys won uh, a Nobel Prize in something, what, yeah. do you th- what do you think it would be? Mm. Reality TV game shows? Maybe. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't right. know. What about you, Blake? <clears throat> Death and despair. I think Jason's going to wa- get one for harboring peace between the two Blakes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? He will not be able to do it. He, it will not be. It will not go well. Maker. Well, when you have Shemansky back, I'll yeah, be, oh, he won't go he's, well. a, he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the power to hold on to 
you will instigate, and then you'll be like, oh, what, what? <laughs> he's, he's, he's actually right. I will instigate quite a bit. He's right about that. December 18th, unemployment in the UK has fallen below uh, 2 million for the first time in almost six years, four years since it peaked nearly 3 million during the recession. I think we're doing really good right now as far as jobs, right? So much so that people say, I don't want to go to work and then don't yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. don't want to go to work. Yeah, yeah that's what Brian, we're into right now. You're, you're a pretty political guy, Brian, right? <laughs> What what, so what what do you think about that right now? People saying uh, people speaking into this uh, the loudspeaker at Walmart <laughs> saying "fuck this job, I quit." <laughs> I said go for it because yeah. it makes for great videos. <laughs> no, how, I just I don't know. I feel like if they feel like they're not getting paid enough, then do what you got to do. There's a, it's a revolution happening right now, Amanda. I don't know what these people are doing. Are they just going off grid? Are they just living in like these tiny homes with no mortgages? Like I don't know. Like because uh, usually if you quit your I job, I can't give you up can't my job. <laughs> Unemployment. You should Correct. Say, yeah. You cannot. But yeah. They, they work it somehow to where they're getting money, so they're just sitting at home. Yeah. No. I, I would go is crazy. That, is that what it is? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I could not do it. Like, I, I couldn't sit at home. I already work from home, and I get. I'm, I, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a little nutty. Like I, I, lo- I look like a crazy. I'm, I'm becoming more and more a crazy. How's your, yeah. how's your Just for not leaving and seeing they all people. Left him. They all left him. They're all gone. They're gone. Uh. I, cra- I crazed them away. Well, I started mixing in my urine with the peanuts no. that I fed them, oh, so they'd Lord. be attracted. Well, yeah. no, I read online that they would be more attracted to me personally if I mixed my urine in with yeah. them. And apparently, it's been a big turnoff. Mm. That's for black squirrels only, and I've got gray and fox squirrels. And I tell you what, they don't. Oh. Like it. Some they of the girls, like the, some of the squirrels, after smelling him, kill themselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he does that for women too. Oh, boy. oh really putting a fine point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we'll he get off of that one. <laughs> Amanda, he would do. This no, thing. I would not. No, <laughs> you would. I, I rarely, <laughs> rarely joke about suicide. Do I joke about it? Sure, but rarely. Rarely, he says. Uh, uh, last one. For 1996, there uh, in the UK, more than 4% of the UK population, some 2.5 million people, now have internet access. Hey. Oh, wow. Way to, way internet get... dial up. What is 1996 dial up. Yeah. Welcome to AOL. Well, exactly. What, you what, got mail. Is that yeah. your first memory of being yeah, online? Right oh, yeah, right about then. Yeah, right about then. Messenger. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I remember being at my friend's house, and it was like it's it costs eight dollars every fifteen minutes yes. that you're on. You're like, you oh, had to Jesus. buy the disc. Remember, you bought the, no. or you had to buy the disc. You and have to have buy so it. Many it minutes. Just got it, it in the mail. the mail. Oh, that's right, in the mail. Ninety nine yeah. free hours, yeah. and then at the end of its run, it was like two hundred forty five thousand <laughs> free hours. Yeah. Oh my god. But I would go on there with like instant messenger. I didn't know what a website was. Oh back yeah, then. no. So I would either. just go on and do messenger, and I thought that was cool to talk yeah. to random mm-hmm. people. Me and Amanda used to talk over messenger Is that how you before met? we met. Is yeah. that how you met? We yeah. met on MySpace, MySpace, but then we chatted on instant messenger. Wow. Oh, please well, regale mm-hmm. us with that. How did that come about? Yeah, yeah. Well, and first of all, before you tell the story, what was your handle, Amanda? What was your handle? I have no idea. Brian, Freak Wolf. What, no what, was, what was yours, Blake? My guess mine's probably Ando. I don't know. Ando one eight four. Probably. Oh yeah, that was my that was my I am yeah. What was it? Ando one eight four. What was yours, Blake? I could not tell you. I was I was horse hung four twenty. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> well, well, how did you Lots guys? Oh like Lord, that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I got sued for libel. <laughs> Um, what did you guys? How did how did it work? Then you guys met on on MySpace before. MySpace. How, how did that come about? Did you, were you in like the same group of things that you were oh, into? No. Brian was oh, just trolling Brian's for trolling some poon. For some ladies. And, uh, stumbled across her picture <laughs> and was like, "Hey, you seem cool. Let's chat sometime." I believe that was it. She hasn't memorized. Mm-hmm. She's long? embroidered yeah. it and put yeah. it on a pillow. No, <laughs> but yeah, you do a lot of embroidering. Uh, no. How long did the chatting go on before you guys met in person? I don't know, a couple weeks, three weeks, yeah. maybe. I don't know. What did you, in there. And why did you agree to meet me? Because <laughs> I was a wasted. <laughs> <laughs> so you drunk drove him? No, no. <laughs> uh, we like I had gone out with a bunch of my friends uh, and gotten like shitty drunk, and we went back to their uh, this girl's flat. house. Were, you went back to their flat, their apartment. It's was, no, it's, it's called a flat. It's, it's called a flat oh, in the UK. Flat, sorry. Yes. You probably took a lift to get there. Yeah, yes. I'm sure. Um, and like she had got brought a guy back and like I, so I was like by myself. And so like, I was like, oh, let me just get on your computer and get online and see what's, see what's up on the internet. Uh, and yeah, and Brian happened to be on. And so we got talking and. 
He's like, let me take a shower. I'll and, be right over. And he said, he said, <laughs> oh, well, you're talking about horror movies. Mm-hmm. And horror movies? Horror. Oh, horror. horror. Yeah, horror. No, no, no W. My bad. Uh, Happy Hooker goes to Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we both really like scary movies. And um, I told him that I owned the box DVD set of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. And he said, I want to sleep with you. And that's pretty much yeah. how it was a panty down. dropper. He's like, I, I would like to metal finger you. Said, right? That's a little dirty for me. I apologize, everybody. So, but yeah, and then uh, and yeah, so then he he said, well, we should go see a scary movie sometime. Guess what was out in the theaters? Oh, well, look, give, give me the year. Scream. Two thousand and seven, May. Hostile Part or five. Two. I'm sorry, two thousand five. Two thousand five. How dare you? Sorry, Scream. we're getting divorced. Scream. No. Ho- Hostile Part Two. I'm gonna stick to Hostile answer. Part Two. No. No. House of Wax. Oh, the Paris Hilton experience. Yes, yes. Yeah. it sure was. Is, is that Jerry garbage. Padlecki in that too? <laughs> no. No. All right. Oh, Chad. What a uh, Chad Murphy. Oh, okay. So you guys watched the movie, you had sex, and then you got married. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Pump the brakes. Blake's depressed now. <laughs> Pump the brakes. <laughs> it's not that easy. I got a friend um, who was like... Is really? Guy, Besides he, me? I have a plenty of cheese. I went down to Shemansky with a St. Louis without you. Um, <laughs> 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 no, a friend of mine, I won't say his name. He's like, um, I'm on Facebook, and it's fine. I like Facebook fine. But you know what I miss? I miss MySpace. Oh, my <laughs> miss God. Miss it. Oh, my God. I bang broads 10 at a time for a dime on MySpace. That was my own personal fuck playground. And I said, don't talk to me like that. I don't speak to you that way. But, uh, but yeah, that, that's, that's he really used MySpace as his dating. Back kind of then, yeah. back then it was. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't dating. Um, there weren't apps. dating websites yeah. and apps back then. People didn't have smartphones. It was smartphones. social media. Yeah. yeah, and it was. There it was, was no plenty of fish. You, there was no Tinder. You mm. looked for people in your area, yeah. you know, because you could search mm. by like your city. Yeah. Um, in like an age range. Um, and then that's how you did it. And then She's, yeah, you just she sounds like she messaged knew people. How to do that. She, uh, she knew exactly that. Mm. Yeah. And just to put it in more perspective for you, Blake, there was no grinder back then. Either. Yeah. No. Just a, there were none of these. So <laughs> actually, Brian is a pioneer. <laughs> so he should have, he should have, uh, you know, trademarked this idea of meeting women on yeah. <laughs> social media yeah. and I should have been like that. Made some money. What was that fucking show where the guy taught? Singled out. No, where well, the guy taught other guys how to be like oh. a player oh, with mystery, yes. no, mystery, no, no. yes, mystery, yeah. yes. I can't remember what that was, but yeah. uh, it's basically like I'm the biggest douchebag with the biggest fucking hat you've ever yeah. seen. Yes, right. fuck was. off, Jamiroquai. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been? He was together? a dating guy. Together, how long have you been together? How long have we been together? Sixteen, 16 years. years. How long have you been married? <laughs> uh, six. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. That doesn't make no. sense to me. Took him right seven a, years to no, lock this down. Right I'm just book. saying right this now. This sense to me. It's because I can't believe that you let that go on so long. All right. No, he needs to write a book. You're a saint. I, I get like a year or two in with a girl. Yeah. And they're like, when are you going to put, put a, a ring on it in our mouth? Yeah, put a ring on my thing. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. And she leaves. Uh, Brian, I, I got to read it. Huh? No. <laughs> you say clit? You said put a, put a ring on it. Now she was twenty one when we met. I so was she was, was so you're waiting. she I was, was into waiting. like I'm gonna go out to the bar and drop hundred and fifty bucks and get wasted every night. That's and right. I'm like it's good years. It's midnight. I'm gonna go home Those and go to years. bed. It's a lot of booze. Holy hell. So, I'm gonna call Brian to come get me. So oh, I'm just, man. I just let her go out and do whatever. And we spent many years like that. Hundred and fifty dollars. That that's Ebenezer Clayton. <laughs> right there. Listen, listen, I was I was Ebenezer Clayton when I was twenty one for real. Oh Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just drank all the booze. Oh, you, know you what? guys uh, if you ever want to go back to that, let me know. Because <laughs> I'm down with that. Oh Blake, you need to something <laughs> with blake consuming uh what is probably a seventh eighth alcoholic drink i am squarely back in the mind of 1996 mm-hmm. yeah. yes. there, guys. there man do you know why we chose to watch combination like usually there are three reasons i'll tell you what there's four this week really mm-hmm. i have no idea no idea <laughs> <laughs> true story any idea you have any idea Brian? you're doing game shows uh <laughs> because because stop, it, please it's... stop right there you're, you're embarrassing all of us okay because <laughs> it was a pilot that was not picked up. Hey, that's one. Uh, because Chris Tuckley told you to. Yes. <laughs> that's two out of four. Uh, something about money. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just made the universal symbol of money. How right? much money did it cost? Uh, very little. Zero. Zero, Zero dollars. <laughs> oh, it was free. For you to watch it. Right. Okay. I thought, I thought you meant to make it. I was like, oh, no, that's probably, uh, probably something to make it. 
Uh, and uh, because you wanted to. It's available to be seen. Okay. Available. There you go. Do it Give them three and a half points. The hall, it's the hallmarks, right? Yeah, those are all hallmarks. Well, some of you are probably saying, "Where can I find the entire episode of Combination Lock to watch for my dumb self?" We well, can do so by subscribing. I love to Couch Combination Pirates. Lock. Sometimes you drink a lot, <laughs> and like it affects your speech. Yeah. Talk to Blake about that. Yeah. Uh, Doing well. Uh, subscribe to Couch Pilots on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your favorite podcast app of choice, and then simply click on one of our classically blue links in our show notes, or go to YouTube, Amanda. Do-tube. 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 Do-tube it. Or do-tube it. <laughs> hey, it, it only took us an hour to get in the air. <laughs> oh, that's it? <laughs> that's it, awesome. re- it really takes us an hour to get in the air. We had a hell of a time. This is, we had a good time. This this next episode COVID five policies, minutes long. though. You got to have extra cleaning. There's extra precautions now with COVID, There's so right. it takes There's longer a lot of to take off. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of wiping of things. Uh, we wiped. Uh, I, I Did saw you wipe today, Blake? <laughs> What's your right. wipe protocol? <laughs> I wipe till it bleeds. Mission, <laughs> Mission Impossible wipe protocol. <laughs> Summary of the pilot. Contestants attempt to figure out lucky combinations and win money by correctly answering questions with numerical answers. Blake? Uh, I give that a B plus. I mean, it's, it's, pretty good. it's, it's, a, it's a pretty with good. numerical answers? That makes no sense. No, it does. Partially. Partially. Like, I mean, you answer something... And then you pick a number. I mean, like I that the, doesn't make any the sense. The ambiguity of the end of that <laughs> summary, I think, is why Blake gave it a B plus, a seven, A plus. Do, do you care to grade that summary, Brian? B plus plus. B plus plus. Okay. Anna? C minus. C-. Oh, cusp of an A. <laughs> got a Amanda says, "Fuck you." We got a stickler here. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> the stickly 10. What do you have? Yeah, the stickly 10. <laughs> How about uh, stickly interesting facts? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Interesting Facts. This is part of the show where Jason scours the internet. And Chris Tuckley emails him interesting facts about the show that you may not know. Please don't give your opinion of this fact. (laughs) Whether it is uh, relevant or not, don't taint someone else's experience. Accept the facts for what they are. Jason, what did Chris Tuckley email you? Thank you, Blake. God damn, that's a lot. When you do that, that's a lot in your ear. Though. I know. Don't try to keep talking. I was like, oh, Jesus. I was like, have I had a I lot think of he, alcohol? I think he saw yes. you freaking out. Are there a lot of things going on? on? Yes. Am I trying to do my best? Yes. Did it end up the best? No. Yeah. I'm building character in here. So yeah. And you know what? Jesus. You know what? Right. I'm doing a B plus <laughs> plus. Interesting facts. And again, these are these are all Chris gave me these interesting facts. Oh. So he, said, he said, why don't you uh, so helpful. lean back in your easy chair yes. and relax? You didn't even off. have to look him up. That's yeah. awesome. He minimized my work for sure. It's mm. more time for him to jack off. Well, that's probably true. Interesting <laughs> facts. The concept for Combination Lock was developed by John Ricci. We're talking about Christina Ricci. Really, that's funny. John Ricci Jr. in 1989 while he was still in high school. It was released as a PC game in 1992. Ricci Jr. has continued to work in the world of game shows, most recently as a games producer for ABC's The $100,000 Pyramid. Pyramid. Fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Jack! The unsold pilot was taped in Wales in September 1996. It bears the S4C logo, which stands for Sinal Pedwar Simru, meaning... Mm. Yeah. Channel 4 Wales. As, as we all know. Oh, as yeah. we all know. I was like, Fact. Oh, duh. <laughs> well, the Welsh have their own way of speaking, as we probably all saw during this show. Uh, S4C is the first television channel to be aimed specifically at a Welsh-speaking audience. Both contestants in the pilot are Welsh. Paul from Banger, North Wales, and Martin from Swansea, South Wales. Fact. Fact. Martin is retarded. Well, I will. <laughs> Okay. My and <laughs> Shanene. Uh, you watch me whip, whip. Watch me Shanene. That's right. <laughs> Today, host Ross King is known to UK viewers as a breakfast TV showbiz correspondent, but he has appeared in numerous Hollywood productions, including The Day After Tomorrow, Half Past Dead, and Trust Me, in which he played a US talk show host, Ray Lungo. Fact. I just like the word, All right. the phrase touch me. Or. Trust me. <laughs> I was saying I didn't say touch me in there. <laughs> I was like, we all, where did he get that? We all hear what we want to hear. And 
Nothing oh, wrong. You broke Amanda. <laughs> and in Blake's own way, he he's giving us character, isn't he? <laughs> Oh God. I, feel like the, I feel like the name Ray Lungo needs a comeback. I know, right? Movie. Lungo. He said uh, the, the, what, the thing that her, I heard was touch me, but I, was, I thought he was going to say Lungo. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I thought it would also be funny that the second to last word in that sentence was the thing that caught your attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, in 2007, Sony Pictures Television and King World, now CBS Television Distribution, developed a new version of Combination Lot which uh, was set to premiere in the U.S. in syndication in 2007. The format was revamped from the 1996 pilot and was created along with John Ricci Jr., the creator of the program. Fact! <laughs> Amanda, why do you look at me? <laughs> Figgity fact. Yeah, you're not going to find any answers waiting, over there. Waiting for a response. This is not the place to come to for <laughs> cues, facts, anything. <laughs> And we have you guys have all the bits. I don't know what you're talking about. You have lots of cues, and I and I never know them. And, he, he, and we have another episode to go, and I probably will not make it. He's not going to make it. Also, in 2007, Combination Lock was airing in Italy alongside a new version of Chain Reaction and of Interesting Facts. Thank you. Let's put ten minutes. On. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's do Twitter responses. Twitter responses, Twitter responses. I wonder if Jason got some Twitter responses. No, I don't. But I will, I will say, I will say this: um, there, there is no like, just like when you guys are here and Blake yeah. is in the, the best mood possible, which is one hundred percent true. This is the best mood possible. Right? Yes, yes. Oh, good yeah. lord! This is, this is the best version of Blake. <laughs> The Twitter responses of the show, there is no other part of this program that I can rely on Blake as much as I can. <laughs> for Twitter he belts that song out. I think it speaks, well, I think it speaks to human beings on a primordial yes. level of our love of music and how yes. it, it, it enacts things yeah. in us. So mm-hmm. I bow to you, Blake, and I honor you for your Twitter responses. However, you there better. are no, he's, just, he's just that Pavlovian dog waiting is. for that bell to ring. Right? Ding! wants that treat. <laughs> you better put 12... 10 minutes on the clock. Mm-hmm. I'm putting exactly 10. Hold on. Let me, let me type it in. Hold, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm typing it in. F10. Okay. <laughs> We're going to break down in 10 minutes, of course, the 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 entirety of Combination Lock. And I would volley this it. This is the problem Get with it. the show. This is the problem with the show. A, yeah. This is the one problem with the show. I think it'd be hard for us <laughs> to find uh, just one problem. But Blake, why don't you go ahead and start us off, and we'll break down the Combination Lock pilot. All right. So there's like a CGI kind of computer uh graphic of a safe and it opens up and that's the intro to combination lock <laughs> we got two contestants you remember their names there brian uh, martin and paul martin and paul but martin spelled with a said. y right yes yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, i didn't know it was spelled different the host what a uh, fag well, she <laughs> could lord oh, <laughs> oh, that's right <laughs> Very rare that he says that. It's, on a, show. it's a UK show. <laughs> you mean cigarette? I, I actually, oh. to be honest with you, I thought it was Paul versus Marty at first because their accents are so thick. I was going to say Blake definitely had a hard time with this. I'm sure you know he is not American. I have a hard American. time with everything. Oh, see, 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 yeah. We're the subtitles. <laughs> uh, host Ross is introduced, and he keeps saying the word again, I notice. And, yeah. and we did a, a season of all um, game shows in the past. Yeah. And a lot of times game shows will pretend like this is not the first episode. Yeah, yeah. right. But I think well, the last time you guys were here was for the match game. No, was it, ma- was it match game? Or was, we uh, did a match game. Yeah, we did a match game. It was that one. With, uh, there's always a returning champion yeah. on the first episode. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, right. always. He could win a car. It's a charisma car. I've never heard of that in my life. No. And the Welsh accent, I know, uh, from the very beginning, oh, my God, that's very heavy, it's isn't it? Ooh, <laughs> it's thick, yeah. It's thick like a black guy's pants. <laughs> You should drink some more, probably. <laughs> right? Yeah. Amanda, how would you describe the stage of uh, <clears throat> combination lock? Uh, very plain. Very plain. Um, it's very much uh, just like any of the other uh, the shows, like Price is Right-esque. Well, hold on. No, hold not on. as hold fancy, on. all right, second. but esque. Hold uh, on very plain, but then... <laughs> I love the price. Uh, me right. too, dude. And it is not like the price is right. Okay? But it's that same kind of like round edges, right? Okay, like listen, I said it was plain. I, I did not probably, say it was a price. I think is it's right. probably a little bit more like Jeopardy, isn't it? Okay, okay, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. It was all. I thought the board looked like uh, like a beeper from the '90s almost. 
Uh, yeah. Like the screen, just the weird dots all yeah. around. Yeah. If it hasn't come back already, like someday the '90s will be like, oh my god, how cool were the '90s? And like, like there's a lot of great stuff in the '90s. Yeah. But, but I will tell you, like the art and like clothing and style oh, sure. was not it. No. But someday they will regale the '90s but, as being great. No, that's it's back right now. Oh, I hope it's back right now, Jason. I you've been it. you've no, been no, working no, from no, home. No, evil specter, leave me. Son, me. <laughs> you've been working from home too long while so. COVID hit and oh. everyone over the summer. We're we're back in the '90s. I don't want it. Jinkos are back. We're oh. mom jeans. You not seen this? We're mom jeans in. We're crop topping. Do you like mom jeans? Uh, I'm a big fan. I do not like it. Of these, uh, of this new mom jean thing. The, uh, the mom jeans yeah. go on. The the... goes are back, oh, man. I'm telling Jinkos. you. Look at these. Holy crow. I'll yeah. pass. But have you seen? Well, are you thinking about the like the super mom mom jeans? I'm because just, now they have. Well, if we're talking about the set of combination lock where it's all like gray <laughs> oh, yeah. tiles and kind of ugly, or like when I think about that like style in homes, I think about like green and pink pastels and how right. ugly that shit was. <laughs> I hope to Christ that isn't coming back. Oh, it might. It no, might. No, Who no, knows? No, not for me. I don't have any well, the um, of my mom jeans. There, there there is a background, like you said there. Uh, Brian, it's like it looked like a beep ring. It's kind of this big oval with a bunch of circles in it. Yeah. And uh, you win money and you put it in the vault. And the only way you can take it home is if you like open the safe, you use the combination that you figure out at the yes. end of each round. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you'll how, how does how do the questions work? You remember? Uh, it's almost sort of Jeopardy esque, but it's where they give you all the answers and then they ask a question. And you have to pick from the answers yeah, which one it is. A lot of it is. Blank, blank, blank is, is too blank, right? blank, blank. I was yeah. going to call them similes. Similes, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How about metaphors? Yeah. Well, simile is when you use like or as to describe yeah. something, yeah. and yeah. everything was as. Mm. Th- this is something as this. So I feel like it was all similar. I hated this. I would do horrible at this. They're not, yeah. Well, well this is, I don't like these questions. The, the really. problem is a lot of these were like UK pop culture. Oh yeah, maybe that, that was maybe that was a lot to do with it. I just most of it. had no idea what they were talking about. So the board's got eight numbers, and only three of the numbers on the board are to be used for the combination lock. And then once you've answered a question, you can pick a number or pass. And there's burglars. Yeah, well, what do you mean? Burglars. The burglars on, on the on, on the, the board. board on the board. Well, yeah. If you don't pick a number that's a combination, you, there, there's some that are just money. One that banks bankrupts you, and there's like two that are worthless. I think is yes. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like marriage, just am I right? And you want to high five that shit, right? <laughs> um, Mark, yeah, and you can pass it, but throughout the entire show, nobody, nobody, passed it. nope. That that's my biggest problem that's with the show. Great point, yeah. Is well, there's no strategy in the fact that there are times when you get into like round three. You should have passed it over. I don't. I, well, I, I have a, I have an idea of when you should pass. But I, I think have an about, idea please, too. I yeah, think you probably got 100%, the same one hundred percent. Yeah. When you, should you pass? You need to pass when you, the burglar hasn't showed up and the odds are no longer in your favor. Absolutely. Like that's you want your buddy to get bankrupt. You don't want you to He's get not bankrupt. your buddy. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. When almost all Old the buddy. combination <laughs> numbers are picked. Yes. And all the the money has been picked. Yes. Whatever's left, if it's nothing. Or the burglar, mm-hmm. that's when you pass it. Yes. But that's got to be a very specific it circumstance. It is. There's not very many, because I was watching for it. Like, I'm like, I'm waiting for the moment to use this. And yeah. Didn't never it never really mm-hmm. arrived. It never did. No. So Martin answers correctly, gets a bag of money from the board. Paul does the same thing. You, you, you pick a number from the board or you pass. And I think the circuit, yeah, like we said, the circumstances would have to be pretty specific yeah. in order to pass it. Um, it these they all, ask them every round, like, yeah, <laughs> like what? Yeah. And one of the things that already that have a problem with this, I don't know how many quid or American dollars. You can't do the or conversion? Pounds? No. Hmm. Well, I would tell you, I, I don't think 20 is a lot. And, and even, I think Chris, in the message that he sent us, was joking yeah. about how low the dollar amounts yeah. were that were right. to be won, even I, in Brian, 96. I think Brian told me that it was like double yeah, in like, U.S., but it, 30, 40 bucks. Yeah. But yeah, no. yeah it was like double. U.S. Yeah. dollars would be double what it was. And but it wasn't that much. And those no. things are different in the U.K., which I'm, they may be, but you're probably taxed on that. So what, oh, what, sure. what are you walking out of there with a pocket yeah. full of Queen's quarters? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the last combination number is finally found. And then you have to answer a question correctly after that to guess the combination. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you, so you might. So then not, they, yeah. they take away the. they So after you solve for the three numbers mm-hmm. then they take away and they put up new dots and it's mm-hmm. all different variations of yeah. combinations of those three numbers weirdly yeah. each round is played in two rounds right yeah after all the numbers they have all the variations and those pop up and, and yeah. yeah those are the first two rounds and in those first two rounds i feel like 
who cares if you get any questions right yeah. before it's time to guess the, the order of the combination? Right. Because all the money that each guy is getting, I feel like it's all going into the same thing for you to win at the end. So who gives a shit if you win but it's getting not, the questions right? It's not? It's not going it's into not. a pot. No. It's not. No, it's, you it's get your it, money that you won. You, you, oh. get, you only get the money that and you then, win. That's something I missed then. Okay. Yeah. No. And, uh, yeah, go ahead. No, 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 no. You no, proceed. No, you go ahead. I'm, I'm I, I, I feel like during this whole show, Paul is answering a lot more questions, but nothing gets... <laughs> the, he, he hits it right on the right time. Yeah. But, but Paul is getting a bank, and if he would have won, he would have had a lot more money, mm-hmm. but Paul intercepts it, or, or Martin intercepts it and wins... You know, just maybe, maybe Martin. Martin realized. Martin realized that it's three. You got three guesses. Right. If you don't know it, just ring in faster than yep. the other guy yep. and guess yep. one. Yeah. There's no, there's no penalty. Right. For right. guessing no wrong, penalty. your yeah. bank doesn't go away. Exactly. And, or and, anything. And so then, you just give it to the other person. Right. And yeah, exactly. And so and, he just takes it and, and tries. And one of my favorite parts about this show is that the announcer, when he can tell that you didn't know the answer. Yeah. But got it right. Yeah. Then he asked he asked you a question to like. Yeah. How did you know that? You, you know. In a but that was way. the dumbest part of the show, yeah. Blake. Well, because as a viewer, I mean, it's like if but, I were the no, contestant, it, it, it's, you know, it's, it's it's the host saying "fuck you," you got lucky, <laughs> right? Piece of shit. I give you that, but as a as somebody watching the show, it's dumb to watch. <laughs> like it's like oh what I don't know. Well, that's, yeah. that's kind of the pro- one of the problems with the show too. Trees are green. Is that uh, there, there's a handful of questions that they get wrong, and obviously that takes time and that fills up part of the episode. But what if it goes super smoothly? If yeah. we only have two rounds, time is a factor here, right? You you have to make sure this is a fast game. Yeah. Well, we this talked is... about briefly the the Price is Right earlier, and they, mm-hmm. that show is a masterwork of, uh. of, of saying we're going to play a short game, we're going to play a short game. Here's a long game. Yes. Short game, long game. They fill it if out. We gotta fi- and if we got to talk, then we just have the host. You know, do some they questions got it with yes, yes, exactly. They filled in like this host should have filled space. Like if there was a question, like mm-hmm. he should have then gave some info or you know some. Well, stuff I wonder or, if this even aired because uh, no time during this was there a commercial break in there. No. They just went no. straight no, there was through. One. There yeah, was one. there was one. I didn't I, notice. No, I, I, okay, well they they did it. No, there was stealthily. You have it in your notes, so it must be true. Yeah, there's a okay. star. You think but, you think in modern men. Modern that men. one, that one, no, modern one. Den- yeah. men did. Next but week we definitely yeah. have a couple. Um, yeah, they answer quite a few incorrectly. Uh, Martin wins a uh, round, and uh, actually, I think he wins both rounds, doesn't he? Because it's time for the final round. Yeah. He said, uh, "We're going to ask you some questions, and each question you get right, you uh, you get a digit to this combination." But Martin, yeah. you won the first two rounds. You're ahead. You get two uh, no, digits. No, Paul got them. No, Martin. I think Martin, Paul Martin, got him, Martin. and then Martin had to come back. No, I think yes. Paul had to come back. I think it was the only way around. No, Paul had no, to come no. back. We can watch the Let's just stop recording. The Brian, help us out here. Be the hold up. I got it. notes. I, I just know, my, haven't even opened. Whatever my wife <laughs> said, because I got to go home with her. Smart. That's smart. That's smart. <laughs> no, Martin had a whole bunch of bonuses. He uh, money wise, he was ahead, so he got two digits. And then he got an extra. Oh, po- he, he did. I'm so sorry. That's right. He got he got an extra digit for uh, having won both rounds. So he was like three uh-huh. digits ahead on the six digit thing. Mm. That means Paul had to like get twice as many right as right. Martin did to mm. unlock the final thing. And this this is the yeah. part of the show where I think the host got comfortable. Oh, that's right. Because Martin making- was the other guy. Yeah. I flipped their names in my brain as we've been sorry, talking God. about them. <laughs> They're all pasty yeah. white guys. That's, uh, that's but this is the part can of the show where the second? host starts to get comfortable and starts making jokes and kind of ribbing on them when they get it wrong. Yeah. I, this is yeah. to me. This is where the, the host is like, ah, I'm comfortable now. You know, mm-hmm. and starts ripping off. Can I take a second to talk to my wife? I would uh, love. I would love. Uh, it. Hold, you know hold, what? Hold on. Let me hey, put on some Jason, music. Jason, take your <laughs> take your headphones off, Jason. Okay. How dare you make me look like an idiot in front of my friends? God damn it! No dinner for you. Ooh. All right, I, all right, guys. We're, I think we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. okay. Put, let's put our headphones back on, Blake. <laughs> yeah, okay. all good. Oh, everything's good. Well, let's, let's, let's keep moving then. <laughs> 
Um, and, and th- yeah, this is the point. We, not only where he gets comfortable, like you said, Blake, but I think he addresses the home audience. Like, there's a play at home version where he's yes, like, yeah, it's like a scratch off card. Scratch off card. Yes. Or yeah. And yeah. If, if you have the numbers, you can win. If you something. have, if you have the same numbers, then you win something. But what, then if what, you have all the matching numbers, you get a, a dinner. Of your choice. It, that's if you have <laughs> at, at your local eatery. Yeah. Yeah. That does sound good. Guys. I better spend $10 eatery. on all these scratch offs so I can win a free dinner. If you had them in the right order, then you got a trip. Oh, I, a trip to Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. Or Disney yep, World. I don't remember. But. Disney World, yeah. We, uh, and then, and, and during pretty... this whole thing, there's a lot of you win pounds, you win quid. They, they said quid on the first one. But the rest of the time they said pounds. It's like dollars and I bucks. Didn't know, same, I didn't know same. that quid and pounds are the same thing. Yeah, mm. same. The final round comes around and he says, uh, you can crack the combination, you get a thousand pounds. Woo! And so he says, Martin, you're the winner. You get a choice of subjects. And he says, I will choose science. Science. These are all you, true or false questions, right? right? Yeah. And during this, he's answering them. He gets one of them wrong, but the host doesn't pay attention <laughs> And you know, it's like I did, false. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like false. And, yeah. the, and and the the host says, "Oh, true." And they, they keep going. Yeah. But <clears throat> right before this round, I got really confused on how many seconds you get added if you get a right answer. Here's, this it got really kind of confused. And and like okay, so we just changed the entire format of the show for the final round. Like we did all these uh, like and as questions, and now That's, it's just like pick a yeah. category. And, do and true or it's false. just like true or false. Like it's very weird. The point of this round is to uh, gain as much time for yourself as possible to crack the to last crack the combination. Code, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, right. And so he ends up getting, I think it was 80 seconds. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then um, what does he have to do here at the end, Brian? Do you remember? Uh, he has to like hit buttons <laughs> to, find, to see if he can find the this correct is when numbers. You need a video yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> right. And then you pull the lever, or whatever. Yeah. And if you have a right one, then they tell you you have to start with that one from here on out. Whatever that means. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you keep going until you find all three. And then I think I mean does I don't remember. Do well, you? He, he he highlighted the three numbers. And that then once were in he got once he got all the numbers, it went to the other thing where you had to just put them in the order. In the order. first, it time was he like it was just, the first time. It was just, it was just yeah. Bang, bang. yeah it's he wins. Easy. He wins a thousand quid. It's whatever, weird because what, this whatever the fuck a thousand plus, quids is. Plus what he had one in the other round. This right, game no. volleys back and forth between like. Hey, do you know trivia? I like, yes, that's a skill I have. <laughs> and to just complete absolute dumb luck. Yes, okay. yes. And I don't know that that's a great way to play a game. I think yeah. I, you, there should be some skill or some knowledge, right? Okay. Right, he ends up winning 1,680 pounds, which yeah. but then me, again, makes no sense. So confused. But then again, isn't that the same premise behind that stupid drop the ball show is like dumb luck? And the then, wall? And then on, smart. On Plinko, you're talking about? <laughs> no. I, I swear not to God. Don't you do not talk to him life. about Plinko. He will beat you I'm in the face. I'm talking to you about the right. new One versus version. Yeah. That will, yeah, whatever that. No, the wall Chris Hardwick. The wall. They, they drop the ball They drop the, the balls on the wall, oh. and it just basically basically money. basically Chris Hardwick. It deducts money. Oh, trust me. I, I, I hate him. I hope he dies. It's, like, he dies. it's, it's very him. much a I never saw concept. that show, and I will tell you what. I don't think it's still on, is it? It uh, is. I'm sure know. it is. It is? I don't know. Okay. Only the best shows survive. <laughs> okay? So, uh, we don't watch them. Price is we right. We don't watch them here. It's still on TV. I love that damn show. It's, I looked it up the other day. It's been on 235 years. Did you know that? <laughs> bring I back, used to uh, love guessing the prices of things when I was a kid, Bring back too. The Weakest Link. I used to like that one. The British, the angry British. Yes, my, she um, just tear you up. So for real, like the, uh, the Price is Right, I think started in like the early to mid seventies. My my aunt was over at my house recently, and she, and uh, my mom had told me once, she's like, "Your you're, house or your mom's house?" My, my house. And really, she's, your aunt was at your house. Yeah. <laughs> is this one of those where she's not really your aunt? No, right? some uh, she's my blood okay. aunt. I she saw, lots I of those videos on Pornhub, Pornhub.com. I was like. <laughs> Every, everything both of you said was super worth it. Yep. My mom said to me, your Aunt Jenny used to watch Prices Right every day when she was young, and she memorized all the prices for everything. And I'm like, oh, that that's, sounds like yeah. she, my aunt is a crazy yeah. person. So, um, and uh, I love her. About, a, about six, seven months pass, and my aunt comes down from uh, Michigan, where she lives. Mm-hmm. She comes to my house, and I turn on Pluto TV. It's a free app. Yeah. And on, there's a 24 7 channel of Price is Right, which I do. Oh it, my gosh. I'm not joking. That's I watch crazy. it a lot. Yeah. I love it. When there's, it's like when nothing else is yeah, on. Yeah, just turn on the boom. background. Yeah. Bob, Bob Barker, still alive. Um, 
and my aunt comes over, and I said, Aunt Jenny, my mom said, tell of you uh, knowing all the uh, prices on The Price is Right. Mm-hmm. Now, is that true? She says, that is true. And we're watching it, and you just see your eyes glaze over. Oh, my oh, God. No. She would have won the jackpot. Oh! Show, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that's that, awesome. That's a show where it was some sort of skill was involved. Yes. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. She liked that, uh, that dude that memorized the sequences on Pressure Luck. Yeah. She and was more that... like the guy who memorized the sequences on uh, King of Kong. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same premise, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, if you had to guess, why did not Combination Lock work? Obviously, it was a successful PC game back in 92, <laughs> but it did not make its way uh, transition-wise to the television. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a very dynamic show to watch. It's not. That's mm. really it's what it comes down to is game shows have to be exciting and dynamic and this show is not. There's, there's no pomp and it's yes. virtually uh, circumstanceless. That's it. Yeah. Mm. It's just like, like, yeah. Do you know what it needs? Mm. Whammies. Oh my God. <laughs> if you like, took the little cartoon whammy guys and put them on that show. I'd watch that. It'd, it'd like boost it up by half. What would you do to improve the show? Like uh, besides the whammy. Some half naked women. Yeah. That'd help. <laughs> You're not it, wrong. It is British. <laughs> There's not a lady like in a Have sequence flowing dress. Yeah. Right? Like there should have been a lady touching those combination <laughs> numbers and doing some, that piece. Yeah. That would be nice. That's what you need. Yeah. The, there's a lady. She doesn't. She can be fully dressed. Yes. But she has to be touching the numbers. She. Not, she. Yeah. She's the one that is the only one there's, that can touch the combination. Be lock. a little cleavage. Yeah. Like we got in this country. I think she's like deep in into her six now. Country. Still beautiful. That's a great song, by the way. Um, Dreams stay with you. Vanna White. Vanna. We got Vanna. Yeah. Like the lovers. Yes. Playboy's Vanna White. What is what would be the name, Blake? Do you think of the oh, British Va- Vanna White? Annika Sorenstrom. Vanna Black. What did you say? <laughs> Annika <laughs> Sorenstrom. Okay. It, oh, he said, he said I had a stroke. I was gonna say it sounded like you had a he stroke. He slurred. Annika Sorenstrom <laughs> is what he really said. A- Annika Sorenstrom. Yes. Annika. Annika. He was slurring. <laughs> I don't hate that. That's a pretty good name. <laughs> pretty good. We'll name. Say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really tickled Brian there. Yeah, that's good. Fuck me, right? I love you, Blake. Your illness is cause for entertainment. My illness is fine. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Um, there's I nothing. can't wait till that podcast you guys all do when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, Blake's it's, memorial. It's called podcast. the R.I.P. Blake. When you go to the great studio in the sky, <laughs> it lasts 14 minutes and everybody talks. <laughs> Combination lock uh, can be seen by anyone, not just us. It's available on the YouTube. Anyone can go see it. Um, that means people have probably seen it and rated it, maybe reviewed it. I tell you right now, it's not on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> there's no review on IMDb, and my God, there's no critic reviews. But there are some reviews on YouTube where I found. Oh, it. Oh, hmm. all right. Or, not where I found it. Where Chris Tuckley found. It. I should apologize. Six six years ago, James Vipon. Respect on your language. You're right. Thank you. Thank you for calling me out of my own yeah. show. <laughs> um, I own a copy of of your combination lock game and played it on my Tandy 1000 TL Ooh. when I was a graduate student at South Dakota State University. The game was great, and I thought the female contestant looked stunning in 16 colors. There's Blake, no the female be? contestant, right? On the PC game. Uh, oh, he's talking oh. about the PC. And what would that? What would that uh, lady's name be on the PC game, Blake? Uh, Annika Sorenstrom. <laughs> <laughs> um, Guys, just ignore me for the next no, hour. No, no, no. Please. You're, we love I you. apologize. You're one of the few lights I in my life. <laughs> I have a problem. I apologize. Uh, this is from the desk of a small press publisher, is the name of this person. I like the pitch film for the U.S. version better than this version of Combination Lock. This version seemed a bit too long from start to finish of a round, but overall, it's a great concept for a game show. Uh, Scott Wilkie, 18, says, Looks like Ross was holding an iPad when he read the questions. And, and at one point during the, the pilot, I think the, the contestant answered it, but then he saw it on his quote-unquote iPad. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Um, Scott Wilkie goes on to comment again. <laughs> oh, whole, a se- this is a separate comment. He, Holy- he left and he came. He said, you know what? Oh, what? He went right back to his computer. I've got more to say. Holy crap! I've been looking everywhere for this. Uh, and finally, Jim Williams says, "I can understand why this didn't sell and why you ah! tweaked the overall format in the decade plus between this pilot and the one for Sony. Not a bad game, mind you, but to John or Jane Q, uh, public, it probably uh, wouldn't have clicked. What do you think about that? Huh? Yeah. Fuck that guy. Clicky, clicky. Ladies Fucking Jim Williams. Jeff, you know what? Fuck Jim Williams. Hashtag. 
I say fuck. I don't know Sorstrom. It said Annika Sorstrom. You're. The You're first just, time it was not like that. <laughs> no. You know what? Play it back. It's fine. <laughs> there was a lot of drool in that first. There one. was. Yeah, I think when when you're having a stroke, you don't realize it's <laughs> happening. But but if I look at you, I don't Can smell you toast. Raise I'm fine. Both arms, smile, and speak a simple sentence. Annika Sorenstrom. <laughs> What's the? Is there? Is there a, an abbreviation okay. for when someone's having a stroke? Is it like kiss? Isn't there something? Face? Is that what it is? There's, there's, some, there's some four digit. I'm trying to remember the OSHA poster in the old break room at the old TV I don't station. know. There used to be at OSF on the, like, when you were listening on the hold music. For one million dollars? <laughs> on the hold music at OSF, it was like, if you think you're having a stroke, raise both arms, smile, and speak a simple sentence. So that's legitimately okay, you, all I ever think. He, he did it. I yeah, won. I won. He didn't speak a simple <laughs> sentence, but he just doesn't know what a sentence is. That's not his well, fault. I, I think Blake knows what a sentence <laughs> Wait, is. Oh, ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah, let's do the stroke test. I want to have another beer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey. I'm, I'm good. Get good. that man a beer. <laughs> Now it's time to grade the uh, the program combination lock. Um, we, we've we've given you everything, and, and so is Chris. He's giving you yeah. the interesting facts. We told you what happened in the UK back then. We bantered. Remember that up front? Mm-hmm. We ban- how, oh, we, how we, we did the we banter? bantered a lot. In this episode. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, the scale is simple, and uh, when Blake's current condition, boy, oh boy, would I love for you to tell us what the grading scale is. The grading scale is a one through seven, based on the uh, television show Wings. One being the worst, that's a Roy Biggins, and a seven being the best, that's a Brian Hackett. In between, there's a two, there's Antonio Scarpacci, uh, Faye Vettin. <laughs> no, no one Hel- asks him to do this. Helen, <laughs> Helen, <laughs> Helen Chipple. You ever hear the Hindenburg before, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, the no, humanity! That was a bit. I knew. I know. I know, I know him in order perfectly. But Bronski, I know all of. Them. We got a uh, we got guests and we got a lady guest, so we'll go to her first. Amanda, <clears throat> I ask you, how do you rate on that scale that one Blake, to seven. Blake so eloquently pointed out mm-hmm. to us? How how do you rate combination lock? I'm gonna give it a a two. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Two. Jesus. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Okay. And, and uh, during this time, feel free to elaborate as much as you oh, want. Oh, yeah. If you want. You don't yeah. have to. Yeah. No, it's, uh, yeah, I think for all the reasons. Like, I don't feel like there's anything you could, like, study or know or, uh, you know, it's not general trivia. It's, like, weird. Um, I, I mean, I would have killed that periodic table round. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I loved that. And, and, I was like, Martin, yes, why isn't this whole... <laughs> but Martin did really good, except there was one of them where he answered wrong, but the host said he did Correct, it right. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they but, played the wrong, but they played the wrong right, sound. Right, but, he, but but to be honest with you, Martin killed it in there. Yeah, yeah. He was good. He's a fucking nerd. He won $3,000 for I his I was troubles. like, why, is there, why wasn't science an option earlier? You know, it's just so... It was such a remove from the standard. It was like all pop culture questions, basically. Yeah, yeah. And then move into... Nerd. Okay, yeah, yeah, just pick a category. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's like you do the whole thing, and then uh, on the bonus round, it's like, here's Harry Potter trivia. Yeah. You know, just, it has nothing to do with what you did before. And game shows are all about the hosts. And this guy was like the least charismatic person. Not a lot of energy. I've yeah. seen in a while. So those are Really, my thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brian, I turn towards you. I'm How do you cure. rate? Because I'm more oh, curious. Well, I'm the Blake right. finisher. You right. are. I'm going to give it a Everybody. four on okay. the on the stance that there's room for improvement. If yeah. you make a couple of small changes, I feel like the uh, format would be a little better. Get a better host. Ask better questions. As you said, we could change up the categories. Just come up with different. Change the whole the damn show, runs. which is not a four. No. no. <laughs> Wow. I'm saying this is a pilot. Maybe afterwards they'd be like, okay, well, What's up, pilot? let's update this, this, and this. Well, the way they pick shows on TV. A four and a two so far. Captain Philip Restisher, I turn to you. How do you rate combination lock? I bounce it back. Jason, what do you rate? Thank you. Combination um, lock. I'm going to go right in the middle there. I'm going to say a three. I, I didn't think this was great. I don't like that there are portions of this where you're just kind of pissing in the wind and there's no real <laughs> skill needed. You're just you guessing. You and me going pissing in the dark, lying on our backs and counting the stars with a clean glass. Was this a romantic song? It was, it was at first. I ruined it. 
Um, you're right. The, the host was not. I feel like he had one of those um, once in a lifetime suits on. It was a real <laughs> big talking head giant. <laughs> I, suit. Thought, I yeah. thought. I thought. I thought he was a, a Miami Vice guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this the set was not like I, I get. This is the style at the time, but there could have been something else to it. it everything was just very plain. It was rounded it, edges and it, plain. Yeah, it's just yeah. one shot of these things happening. It, I like it, rounded it, edges. It was, just, it, was just, it was just very dull, very bland, very mm. oatmeal, no brown sugar. I give it a three. But do you feel like they could have taken that and been like, oh, okay, we'll add some some more cameras yeah, and I, some, I, I, they some have better had lighting? Like a, good. a female Vanna White. Blake, what would you call yeah. that? Annika Sorenstrom. Yeah, I, I would love to have Annika Sorenstrom be like, yeah. I think that she'd add some spice to it. <laughs> Big fan of Annika Sorenstrom. <laughs> Blake? Okay, so I, I, I kind of set some pretzels mm-hmm. a couple episodes well, ago. Well said. I, before you say too, you love game shows, right? I, you really do love game shows. I got, I, I got a, a Tuckley bump. Right, because oh, you should go to the doctor for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's in the right place. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, because there are things I miss during this UK stuff. I I don't understand it all. Mm-hmm. And two, I got a game show bump, so I got a, a two yeah, bumper. That, that's okay. That's good. I'm gonna give it a four. It was fast paced. It, it left a little desire on the lighting, and uh, but I give it a four. I I I, I didn't yeah, hate it. That's I enjoyed right. it. With two fours, a three, and a two, we shall close the book on Combination Lock, and we will never speak of that show again. Yeah. But join us next time, won't you please, when we watch the pilot episode of Modern Men. Here's a little something to whet your whistle. A sitcom set in Victorian London. You can find the entire episode of Modern Men by subscribing to Couch Pilots and SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your favorite podcast app of choice, and then simply click on one of our classically blue links in our show notes, or go to YouTube. Brian? YouTube. Thank you. Pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> Blake, um, is, are those your uh, UK facts? We'll get to that in just a minute then. I don't know if there's anything else. You, you seem ready to go right then and there. I, I want to give you the platform. To I just want to be ready. I just want to be ready. I don't want to disappoint Chris. Again. Well, as we wind down the show, we say um, if you have extra time in your day, and I can't imagine that you do, go to couchpilotspodcast.com. You can find all of our episodes there. You can email us at couchpilotspodcast at gmail.com. We're on Facebook. We're active on Twitter. If you follow us on Twitter, you're going to see what we're doing weeks ahead of schedule, and um, I I don't know the benefit of that. (laughs) (laughs) Call us at 910-PILOTS-1. That's 910-745-6871. Leave us a voicemail. We'll play it on the show. You'll get to hear what your dumb fucking voice sounds like, and you'll get some frequent flyer points in the the process. I'm not very nice. (laughs) You see how I treat you. Oh, I actually got an email from uh, Gmail. It says, hey, I don't think... Is your dial-in number working? Yeah. Because nobody's in it for so long. Yeah. We, we should drop that part of the show. Um, we also have Patreon, which is a website you can give us money. And I tell you what, everything that I, um, like all my bills and everything I buy, I do with money. So Patreon is a good website for me to get that. <laughs> yeah, and I promise by the end of the year, mm-hmm. it will be all updated. That'd be great. I can't right. wait for that. And it's, I assume that it's a promise, right? Hold your no, breath. No, oh, it is. No, okay. it is. All right. it's, my, it's my Christmas promise. He's, uh, he's sending Annika a charge or something. To <laughs> Everybody gets a free autograph picture. Annika, oh, <laughs> boy, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> As we wind down, though, uh, we have a couple of great guests, and we want to give them opportunities to uh, plug their shit. Brian, what, what do you got going on right now? There's a few things I can think of. Uh, well, I'm doing stuff over at uh, challengedpod.com. Me and uh, Amanda there across the table doing our challenged podcast. You got it. I do uh, Midnight Drive-In, a bunch of random weird movies. We're in the middle of doing that. We're currently like a week ahead of schedule, which is weird for us. Uh, and I'm doing some writing stuff over at joeblow.com. A lot of cool Everybody stuff. Check it out. You're you're a you're a guy who's producing content. I guess so. yeah, you're, you're, you're a content. Contenter. Yeah, that's what America has become, right? Just mm-hmm. people like yep. kind of zoning there's, out. And there's either the like the people that absorb the content yes. or the people that put the content yes. out. But that's it. That's yeah, all that's there right. is right now. That's right. You gotta have it. Well, that was the uh, Brian had. Three plugs. I, Amanda, you got any? Got, I got nothing. I got challenged, man. What? You say you're, you're just working on the one podcast right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you have any ideas for podcasts you want to do going forward? Uh, I do not. 
<laughs> because somebody <laughs> promised me a Utopia podcast the last time I was on it's here. It's my fault. It is my fault. And yeah. I have yet to uh, see it. Not to mention he's hoarding the episodes that he has. That's true. We do have secret <laughs> links. Right? Remember that? We got the secret They're links. They're probably no good anymore. Well, I hope that's, how, that's, that's not true. Right? They're going to be timed out. <coughs> Expired links. Well, I, I know we've, we've said it a couple times already, but it really does bear repeating. It is absolutely true that, that Blake is never in a better mood than when both of you guys are here. So no, thank you so much for being here. Seriously. And uh, Blake, you have something you've been doing at the end of each of these uh, Tuckley 10 3 episodes. Right. We're talking about the UK. It's Tuckley 10. And. Uh, I think last Tuckley 10 we did, I did all famous UK murderers. You love murder. Serial killers. Uh, but I wanted to tone it down. And I wanted That's to do... <laughs> I want to give some facts about the Queen. Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, the second. Queen Mother. R.I.P. Well, See, this what? would have been the episode. We love murders. Yeah, I was going to say, like, what are you talking about? Murder was people, people don't like listening to murder. Mm. All right, so here, here's just a couple facts. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Queen Elizabeth II is the face of Australian currency. Ah, how about that? Mm-hmm. That entire continent. Wow. Yeah, not, she's not even close to it. No, very far away. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Queen Elizabeth II backs over 600 charities and organizations. Whoa. Amazing, That's amazing. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. Can you tell she's us three fabulous. or 400 of those right now? Uh, <laughs> right. I don't have those. Off the top of your head, please. And uh, for my last fact, which I always do three facts, Mm -hmm. Um, in August of 2019, Joanna Sorberg was harassed in 2001 by Prince Andrew at (laughs) Epstein's home. Jeffrey Epstein. Fact. (laughs) Prince Andrew was the person who was harassing Joanna Josberg at Epstein's home. Okay. So, what is this? What number are we here in this? This is the, the this halfway episode, through. This is episode five. You got to you got to stay tuned. There's a <laughs> pattern developing here that I'm finding of uh, the the facts that you're doling out to everybody. Yes, uh, Queen Elizabeth has done amazing things in uh, all her life. R.I.P. Because she's going to die before this comes out. Uh, but I just want to give a shout out to Queen Elizabeth for all the things that she's done. Okay, I mean. I'm, I won't say it on the show, but I, I feel like there's another pattern developing. Uh, um, Prince Andrew's a fucking asshole. Well, that, that could okay. be it. We'll, well see. maybe so. All right. Well, um, again, thank you both for being on. And I will Thanks say, for us. Oh, it's our pleasure. <laughs> no, don't ever ask me again. You, <laughs> you, we're not paying you, and we appreciate you what? <laughs> what? Oh, we're not getting a check when we leave. Absolutely not. What the fuck is the Patreon for? <laughs> it's for us. It's, it's, it's Blake's Jack and Coke money. Right? right? It can't afford Blake's Jack and Cokes. Oh, God. <laughs> My God. This pilot may have been rough, but it is always a smooth flight here on Couch Pilots. Thanks, everyone, and we shall see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you, guys. On behalf of Couch Pilots and the entire crew, we'd like to thank you for joining us on this trip, and we are looking forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Have a nice day.